So Terraform 0.12 is coming out really soon. Um, we've been in alpha for a couple months. It's feeling pretty good. And what I wanted to do in this video was actually show you how you could play around with the alpha uh, and start using it uh, just to test. We don't really recommend it for real infrastructure yet. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just going to run through a like relatively complicated configuration that I have um, with 0 0.12, see if it works. I actually haven't run against 0 0.12, so I don't know. Um, as part of this, I'm going to have to recompile some providers to work with 0 0.12, since during the alpha, we're only shipping a few providers. Um, in the beta, we're going to ship every provider, so that'll get a lot easier soon. Uh, but I thought some people might be interested in this, and I want to see for myself. Uh, how things are doing. I've run pretty much out for every alpha up to this point, so I've been seeing the progress, but I haven't run it against this particular Terraform configuration that I have, and uh, I haven't run the latest alpha. And I'm actually kind of interested in building from master too, because there's a lot of changes there, so uh, I might do that in this video as well. So um, to get started, I'm going to show you the Terraform code that I do have. I'll make sure I zoom in here. Okay, so what I have here is uh, pretty simple. It's only a couple Terraform files, but they're kind of beefy. Um, and what this Terraform configuration does is actually sets up a full email receiving pipeline. So it sets up um, using AWS SES uh, going to S3 uh, where the domain's on Cloudflare. So we have a domain on Cloudflare. We have to create an SES domain. Um, we do all the verification for the domain with SES automatically. Uh, then we set up the receive rules. We send that to S3, uh, and then we configure SNS, an SNS topic, so that you could set up uh, webhooks or SMS or whatever you want when you get an email. Um, so this works or should work. Last time I ran it, it worked. I'm going to show you the variables I have. So I have uh, some variables here. Uh, it's so we set the domain and a, ver a few other things. Um, .planet.io is just a domain that I've had for years that was a project I never launched. Um, so we're just going to use that. And I've also already uh, set up .planet.io and Cloudflare, but there's no DNS records, as you can see here. There's nothing. Um, and if I go to SES, uh, you can see that there's no domains in SES either. So everything's pretty much empty. Um, right now, what I have is Terraform version 0.11. So uh, I'm a little bit out of date, but this is what I have right now. And what I'm going to do is actually apply this. And this is just to verify that with 0 0.11, everything is working. So it's going to create a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, this generally takes about 30 seconds to a minute to do all the verification, because the DNS records actually have to propagate. So uh, I'm going to fast forward this part of the video so we can make this a little shorter. All right, cool. So you can see it took about a minute, uh, actually almost exactly a minute to set all this up. Um, but at the end of it, you can see uh, when we refresh the DNS, we have a bunch of DNS records made. If you recall, none of these existed. And if we go to SES uh, and refresh, we also have the, the domain with uh, verified, DKIM all set, set up for sending everything. Um, and we should also have an S3 bucket that has been created in order to receive these emails. All right, so we also have the S3 bucket. Um, I skipped ahead in the video, so you don't see all my S3 buckets. And we could verify that this works by sending an email. So I have my email client here. Um, I'm just going to send an email to hello at .plan.io. I set up the receipt rules so that you could put anything here. So let's just do that for fun, like hello, screencast, or something. Um, hello, hello. Um, and we'll send this along. All right, so I sent the email. Um, sorry for the skipping around. I don't want people looking at my email either. Um, and we're in this S3 bucket, and everything worked. It should be here. And that's a new object. So if we click that. Um, and we open it. I'm actually not sure if that works. Pop up blocked. Uh, let's see if we could. Let's just download it. Um, cool. So download it, open it, and you can see here that there's all the headers um, from my work email. And you can see that there's a hello and there's an HTML thing. So we got the email. 
And so everything is all hooked up, um, which is really, really cool. And so now um, let's go from here and actually let's give 0.12 a shot. Um, 